at the base of Mont Blanc in the Alps. The French town of Chamonix is known for its spectacular winter sports and storybook charm. But in the summer months, people come from hundreds of miles around to climb the mountains and enjoy the popular European sport of paragliding. Jean-Claude Tournaire and a group of friends had traveled from nearby Switzerland to enjoy a weekend of paragliding. We came to Chamonix because the site is marvelous for flying. It's hard to find conditions as beautiful as these anywhere else in Europe. With Jean-Claude was his close friend, Raymond Roulin. She had only been on 20 flights before. You're on your own in the air. So she was a little nervous. Every time you fly, you're taking a risk. There's a danger of winds that are too violent. And in that case, you shouldn't fly. The conditions were superb. There were three or four of us together in the air. We were really having fun. We were even talking while we were in the air. After gliding for about 20 minutes, they prepared to land in a field adjacent to a new hotel that was under construction. Another paraglider, Claude Jacot, was landing just ahead of them. It was difficult to approach because of the strong wind about 30 kilometers per hour. That's why paragliding could be dangerous. Maybe you are in the air and it's too strong for you, but it's too late for you. I landed and was busy detaching myself. We saw Raymond coming and then we saw the crane. It made a big ripping noise on the crane. She stopped and was swinging. In my mind, I saw her swing off and fall. It was really frightening. She was hanging more than 35 uh, meters high, uh, about 100 feet. There were steel pieces on the ground, and cement and... Uh, everything you don't want to land on it. We could see that it was a little material that was holding her, but from the ground, we couldn't tell if it was solid or not. With the strong wind, the fabric could uh, slip off, so I decided to run to my car to catch the rope and to, uh, to climb the, the crane. A witness to the accident radioed for help. The call was relayed to the Chamonix Safety Center. Rescue units were immediately dispatched. Tout le monde court déjà. 
Everyone was already running over because everyone had seen the paraglide sail get hooked. Then after that, it was quickly uh, go and get bags, get boxes, anything we could find to avoid a hard crash if she fell. It was like a bunch of crazy people coming right away to do anything to help her. It's all we could do. I'm a mountain guide, a rock climber, but it's different because uh, the crane was moving with the wind. Vibrations could be a problem for her, so I tried to walk uh, as soft as possible. We saw the guide go up. We didn't know if it was good or bad. We had one person in danger, and in a minute he was on the crane. That made two people. I was a little bit afraid of it. I had no rope for, for myself. When I arrived at the edge of, of the crane, she was hanging by this of the fabric. It was a very bad surprise. She couldn't see me. So I talked to her, I said, okay, I'm here now, and we tried to give you a rope. She didn't want to move, and she was unable to, to speak uh, louder, so, so I, I couldn't hear her. I told her that... I couldn't see her because of the shoot, and that I need her answer to do the right moves. So she, by this time, she started to talk to me. If the time was long for me, it was much longer for her. Maybe after two or three tries, she said, okay, I've got it. The first thing on my mind was to climb carefully to avoid scaring her, then having her fall. Obviously, you're going to be afraid getting on a ladder when you're so high and it's so narrow, and the rungs are so far apart. The fireman was tense. He was afraid that I would panic, and I wanted to go faster because I wanted to be on the ground. I released the chute from the train. It's very good uh, fabric because it's so narrow and, and she's still here. If I had a, a pen, I would uh, I'd write a thank you on it. I was still a bit shocked, and then people were all around me. I didn't want to talk at that moment. I just wanted to realize where I was. Claude Jaco is the hero of the story. There aren't a lot of words to express my gratitude. Maybe for him, his reward is to see me alive. I wish only good things for people who react the way he did. Raymond kept a piece of the sail that prevented her from falling, but she has given up paragliding. 
I'd like to start a family, to live a long time more, and to live well. I wasn't sure enough about my wings. I finally told myself that I've got to let that go to those who really enjoy it. Next. If someone yelled, keep her away from here, I know in my heart it's wrong. I thought he's in pieces. Oh, no. 